the volcano of fire in Guatemala. Uh, it goes off quite often. It does. And um, its most recent uh, eruption was today. And I've mirrored the image on this, you all. This is really a cool if um, you haven't seen. Look like there's eyes up there if you're looking at it. Like eyes up there. Watch this eruption. This is so cool how it forms. And you know, you have to ask yourself, there must be something going on with... Um, mirrored images okay why would they even have mirrored images i i guess it would represent um opposites two opposites side by side uh, that literally do mirror one another you are but these volcanoes is there is there like a fire spirit inside the volcanoes i think that um there is something in the volcanoes. I really do think that there is. Um, let me let me turn this off right here. I think there's something in the volcanoes. Hello there, Christina Faith. Good evening, everyone. You all, let me come over here um, to this. Let's look at this. Look at we got a zero chat rate. Only four views. Um, they're messing with our um, analytics. Here is what they're doing. Uh, yeah, perhaps it takes two minutes for it to come on. Hello there, Apple Brooks. Uh, I am fine, uh, Janie, Janie Fields. I just, uh, probably around 45 minutes ago, perhaps, maybe, I finally stopped for the evening. Probably around 45 minutes ago. Let me put this back on to me. Uh, I want to show this to you all. This, this is a mirrored image of this volcano of fire when it erupts. And you know, people have documented um, UFOs coming out of volcanoes before they have. Uh, I have. And some are great big, massive, um, oval looking uh, UFO ships coming straight out of the eruptions in the smoke cloaked. Cloaked from the um, volcanic uh, smoke and stuff like that. And you know, they can withstand the heat. If they can fly through the sun and stuff, they can withstand the heat of a volcano. They can. And we know, if you've ever went, I went to Kilauea. I've walked on the lava uh, that was already, you know, hardened. But still, even walking on a, a lava bed... It is like walking on an oven, in an oven. It is so hot. It's so, so hot, you all. So, um, yeah, this is the perfect place for um, UFOs to go. It is. And other beings, if they live underground in these volcanoes, you all. Look at uh, how the image looks. Kind of looks like a wing being, and there it does. It came out when you mirror the image. And, um... I just um, I just wonder what the um, the thing is behind those. You well, let's look at this in the in the red because we can come over here to this. Um, thank you for joining. We can come over here to this um, this VLC that you can download with these effects and um, colors. If we take the color out, um, what? Let's see what it looks like. Literally, would look like a red sky. Is um, what it would look like with this volcano erupting I would not want to see <laughs> I would not want to see a winged being you are would not coming out of the volcano because that would be a sight to see it really would be a winged being coming directly out of it yeah it is it's really cool looking it is it's uh, super cool looking to see it like that. The way it just um, plays out. And you know, um, yeah, it, it's 3D imaging uh, and uh, mirrored images. I know certain uh, 
people do not look at mirrors. They're not allowed to. You're not allowed to look at your image inside the mirrors. You're, that's something they're not allowed to do. They're not allowed to stare at a fire or any of that stuff. None of it, you all. Let's, um, let's look at it in the normal mode because we can do that. We can. We can look at this volcano. Um, I don't want to look at it over here. Let me just... Um, Let's put it back to the normal mode so you all can see it without it being. I wonder what it looks like. I haven't looked at it in. Let me let me get this mirrored image off to see what it would look like uh, without being. Um, oh my goodness! Without being mirrored, if I can get over here to see if there's anything that we can see when it goes off, you all. Because I haven't looked at it in the inverted mode uh, erupting. What I've noticed at this volcano today is um, there was a great big long, long white cloud that literally stretched all the way across the breadth of that volcano is what it had done. Okay, see, it doesn't look normal. It does, it's fine. It doesn't look like anything special uh, with it even... Um, that color right there it doesn't so let's look at it um, in the normal mode a normal eruption which is also pretty cool you all I'm here's here's what happens I push this button on the stream deck and I think something stops the screen deck from showing that's what I think it stops certain screens from showing and um, I don't like it I shouldn't have to push the button hard all the time because I think I push it um, the same way a lot of the times. Yeah, this is just the normal uh, eruption that takes place. Of course, I've got it um, going at two times the speed because this, this camera here at this volcano, you have to ask yourself, why do some of the um, volcano cameras... Uh, the most popular volcanoes, they sh uh, they all got them wiggling, so you can't get a really good image of the volcanic volcanic eruption. See that flash, that flash occurred, and I think that's when the camera flipped over to uh, this right here is what I think it did. It flipped right over to it. Let's let's see that again. Let's see that eruption as it goes off. Yeah, because that's massive. Let's come also, let's come over here to the main, to the, um, the main one right here. We can push this. We can see it going off right there. Do we, are we, are we over here? Yeah, we're over here, you all. Because you know that these are bound to be, um, violent eruptions. See, this kind of looks like a stair. Look at that. One, two. I think there's a massive ship behind here. I really, really do. The way that it rode in. Let's see this. Let me show you what happened to this um, volcano. Uh, well, let's see where we get that. Look at some of these images. This is what... Um, with this volcano. These are different um, time stamps. I want to get it to where this... Um, I think this is a ship over here that showed up right there, you all. You know that these um, ships are always at these volcanoes. Um, they're cloaked. A lot of the times they're cloaked, but I think that this one is not a cloaked ship. I think it's um, trying to blend in with the... Um, see, look at that. Uh, just like that. If I could like get a good shot on that, but I can't. Let's see this some more. Okay, I want to I get that great big gigantic cloud that rose in because some of these clouds look massive. Totally massive. Look at this. This looks like a massive... See, there's a ship inside of here. Can you all see that? Let me see if I can get that. There is a ship. You can barely see it now. It's inside that cloud. But I don't think it's a normal cloud. And I think that this right here is not a normal cloud too. It's... These are probably saucer-like ships, is what they probably are. And, um, 
because they frequent these volcanoes. You know, let's let's look over here, you all, because um, if if we look at this, okay, this is my first search. If you come over here, a volcano of fires and all these images um, of these volcanoes. Of course, there's like you can barely make out some of these uh, images right here. Not too many good um, images, but look like this is, pretends to be a ship, a cloud, but it is a ship. It Papacato. Papacato has a lot of activity that does occur. What is that? Ancient aliens of fire, strange creature shown entering. No, I'm not going to show that you. I really am not. You can go um, look at these yourself. You really can look at this. Now, you know that these are not... <laughs> that's not normal clouds you all it's not it's <laughs> and they, they keep making up the names for these clouds that um, are around these volcanoes and uh, you just have to laugh at some of the names that they come up because well I know that's not that but we're supposed to be talking about this volcano of fire where what do I what's this look at about like behind me you all okay we got this going off right here so this is the mirrored image of this volcano of fire and it does look like some kind of a massive um, being even even beneath it even on like the volcano the structure of the volcano itself on this the side of the volcano it looks like it's got wings going up in the air you was what it looks like in Japan you can see the um, the Japan military base. I, I used to go over to that uh, Japan uh, volcano. I forget the name of that one. Haven't went. Uh, is it um, Fuj? No, I can't say it. I'm not even going to try to say it. You, I'm not. Yeah. Um, Michelson. Worlds are colliding. Um, yeah. Well, this was a. A very um, high anxiety day for some people um, and then um, I'm not going to get into the news I'm not I'm not even I saw a headline and that's that's enough it is it's, it is enough um, it is hello there Maria from Madrid let's look at this you all we can watch this volcano again you all because I got these um eruptions that are coming out and when you mirror the image it looks really this looks wild extremely wild as if it's some type of a spirit being coming out of it and you know there had to be something tied to the volcanoes because um during um ancient times they worshiped the volcano gods and stuff and did their sacrifices and things like that but who were the volcano gods? Really, who were the volcano gods? Um, have you all thought about the volcano gods? Um, was it the Anunnaki? Hmm. Well, we got some. We got, um, let's see, all of these. Okay, this is um, Polynesian volcano god mythological creatures. I don't, I don't think that they're mythological. I really do not uh, Yahweh. I never heard of Yahweh was a volcano god. Did you all hear that? Um, Hawaii goddess. Um, I'm looking where the Pele is. Mm, this would be scary, you all. If you ran into these um, Pele, yeah, the Hawaiian, Hawaiian goddess of the volcano. I'm sure that there was... Um, Methana, volcano, god of war. You know, this wiki fandom stuff, you all, it really gets to me. It does. I'm just going to be honest with you. The things that they write in wiki fandom, sometimes I think that that's more reality than what we see or hear about in our own, um, our own world. I really do. Volcano gods. The island of Crete, it like reads like a history is what it does. Reads just like histories. All of these um, volcanoes. This, ooh, wow, look at this. Um, Sis Siskla is the opening boss of Kratos. Kratos, um, Atlantis, journey to Atlantis. 
summoned by Poseidon. I want you all to know that I pushed that button. I did. I pushed that button and they did not let me go to my screen. You know why? Because they don't want me to. Well, that's just too bad. I went to the screen because I pushed that button. Um, that's what's happening. They're not doing it right. And I have not used this that much to wear out those buttons. I haven't, you. I promise you, I haven't. So, Sila, the opening, summoned by Poseidon, she destroys everything in her path using her tentacles and arms and releasing small offspring, Skyla brood, meek Greek mythology. Oh, you, I didn't know this. That lived, it was a monster. Scylla was a monster that lived on one side of a narrow channel of water. Opposite its counterpart, Charbribidis, the two sides of the straits were within an arrow's range of each other, so close that the sailors attempting to avoid Chari, Charbdis would pass too close to Scylla and vice versa. It was a horrible sea monster with six long necks equipped with grisly heads, each of one three rows of sharp teeth. Uh, Odysse, Odysse, I can't even say that word. Odysseus, I can't say it, you uh, met the beast. So I didn't know that this was, um, that is kind of scary looking, you all, but we're supposed to be talking about volcanoes, you all, getting myself sidetracked, I really am. Let's look at this volcano. It's, um, it's, it's oh, this is the main one. This is the, <laughs> this is the main volcano. Did it push back to that screen, you all? That's what I want to know. Did it? Because look at this. Um, see, it just has teeny tiny eruptions. Watch this one that happens as this one goes off. Let's see if we can get it. It's like teeny, teeny, tiny. Let's see if this is on two. This is on two. Teeny, teeny, tiny volcano going up. I want to get to um, where it literally um, throws up a, a ash cloud. Look how dark it is. You know, the air quality around there has got to be really terrible. It really, if you think about it, the air quality would have to be not good at all because you'd be breathing in all those uh, particulates um, that come from eruptions okay and it's not good it really is and I would think that it would stay in the air unless the majority of the um, eruptions are not um, pyroplastic um, that's in the air and unless that you all, I'm not even looking over here you are an ancient dead sea serpent let's see if we can catch that volcano uh, because it's going to erupt. Look at this. This is really. The background looks pretty cool with the sky like that. But sometimes I wonder why they got to cover up the sky the way that they do. And um, what if something comes out of here and goes into these clouds? Because inside these clouds there are ships that are cloaked. Uh, and quite possibly interdimensional. Interdimensional beings inside. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to do. Looking at this right here. Yeah, these clouds, they're, they're wild. They're wild looking clouds. They don't look normal at all. They don't. But I guess they are kind of normal. These light tan ones, I think that um, interdimensional ships and beings travel in the light tan clouds is what happens. Let's see if we can... Um, go over some more see this volcano boom there's the there's the scene that um was mirrored was this one right here at um 6 today oh, i was trying to wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. i think i've seen something let me see this as it went up let me see if i can Oh, let me wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta be fast. OK, 
Okay, I thought I saw something. Really did think I saw something. And uh, it just disappeared on me. That I saw a ship coming up out of that um, plume, that cloud, that um, eruption coming straight up you all. Yeah. Kolku Khan, uh, the Ketsukado, uh, the feathered serpent. Isn't there something about Ketsukado? You all, this is um, now May the 24th. And the um, soul called, isn't that strange how these things come out on the side like that square? It's like a square right here. Boom. And uh, that time traveler, well, he said that there was going to be a sighting, you all. Let me, let's find it because this is the 24th and I, this was a day I was not going to let slip by. Okay, because I wanted to call him out. Time traveler, May the 24th. 2022 let's see what it had to say you all because look at this you call aliens will make uh, their first appearance on earth next year okay let's look at this so i'm a self-proclaimed time traveler okay i promise you all i have pushed the button and you know they did it to me again okay let's do this TikTok, the future time traveler, claims their arrival would lead to an interdimensional war. Uh, the group of aliens are called the Nyrons, and they come in peace and don't mean harm, but the U.S. attack them and begin the first of many interdimensional wars. If anybody's ever uh, practiced spiritual warfare or been in it, you know what it's like. Look at this. Aliens will make their first appearance on Earth next year, the exact date cited is May the 24th, 2022. Today is May the 24th, 2022. Okay, it is. And uh, to my knowledge, um, where, where, where are they at? I think this would be very public. If um, they made their first appearance on Earth next year, the exact date is May the 24th. It's today. And um, I don't see anything on the news about it. I don't. Um, from time to time, there are many different aliens that actually live on Earth. Uh, the time traveler claims that the mythical creatures called the Neurons will come in peace. The Nyrons. Uh, and it will be an interdimensional war. So the look, they shared 90,000 times. Wild claims you all. So it's the TikTok time traveler. And this is what um, they went to share so let, let's look up the nyrons who are the nyrons you all that that would be um a good thing to do because it's um it's good to come back and look up who are the nyrons aliens let's see what it pulls up okay i i don't even see anything about who are the night and nyrons nyrons do you know who those are um I don't know who this individual is. Um, I really don't. But I wanted to make sure I came on here. The Nyron. The Nyron aliens. Okay, let's. We're over here. Let's look. Let's see if it pulls anything up. I don't know who they are. I sure hope it ain't these right here. I don't. I wouldn't want it to be these. Um. See, they have no image, so there's no image of these. Uh, if it if it were these, okay, there isn't. So um, this doesn't make sense. Ten alien races, believe it or not, in contact with Earth. Yeah, we went to volcanoes, and now we're on here. You've got the Grays. I think we've already looked at this. The Sassini um, hybrids of the cosmos. The Octurians of the Milky Way. The um, the Nordics. Okay, we already looked at this. The Nordics. The Pleiadians. The Yael. The Yael. Mm. The Anunnaki. The Alpha Draconians. 
the reptilians. We looked at these last week. What, or did we? The Nomos. Scandinavians, the Nomos. You are this doesn't look human. They are from the um, Sirius. Um, ten alien races in contact with Earth. So there are people who I've never heard of the Nomos. I haven't um, haven't really heard of the Yael, uh, the Sassini, or uh, none of them. Yeah, you. I don't. I don't think that they are. Really, don't. Let me put this back to me. So yeah, the time came and um, this um, time traveler, um, you, you gave an exact date and uh, there's no news about it. There's no news about um, alien contact. There isn't, although we are documenting uh, UFOs at the observatories. They've been documented and people are documenting UFOs in the skies all around the world. And um, they're becoming more aware of what's in the skies, okay? And they're finding out that what's in the skies is not um, what they've been told. Uh, and now I think it's really good because people are starting to think for themselves. If they're looking up there and they got their cell phone and they're filming what looks like a star, but upon closer observation, it's not a star. Um, they're starting to think, okay, well, what is it if it's not a star? Okay, even things that... Um, would look like um, some type of an airplane, but upon closer observation, it's not even an airplane either. You all, there is um, UFO activity occurring. There are um, craft in the skies that are not of this earth. Okay, and there's interdimensional uh, aircraft and things like that. And um, they say that there is um, aircraft that are coming from the ocean, ships coming out of the ocean straight up the ufos and um, they're going back into the ocean and there's m volcanoes also uh, that these ships are going into so is there a, like a civilization under the earth also is there um there's something under there and is there a civilization in the ocean I, i'm sure there is since we didn't explore hardly any of it at all only like 80 percent only uh, well actually only like 20 percent because the other 80 percent is unexplored uh, for some strange reason so i am going to go you all um the time traveler well i'm kind of disappointed in that time traveler because i haven't seen the um his exact time date yeah that's right yeah that's a good question why do we have a space council uh if they're um, not real um the israeli government exposed something that they have um, documents and they are the Israeli government is looking for the um, the star KC um, what was it KC nine something you will let's see Israeli star two three one nine or something like that okay oh I got it right you all I did <laughs> No, that's 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 a, <laughs> that's a, that's a break. A uh, power stop, power stop. Um, <laughs> a break kit. A KC two three one nine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you all. I pushed that button. Did they do that to me again? Did they? Oh my gosh, you all. Oh. No, no, <laughs> that's really funny. Um, that's um, that's funny. Um, uh, um, let me see, Rabbi Berger, Rabbi Berger, and um, Star Prophecy. Yeah, let's look at this. You all, we can do this. <laughs> yeah, so see, look at this. Oh, are, are they doing this again, you all? The Israeli rabbi, this prophecy, new star in 2022. See, this was around um, back in, this is when it first came out, January the 16th of 2017. They had, they said there was a collision of two distant stars will create light visible from Earth. Um, and it would t align with an ancient prophecy um, citing the, you know, this... Uh, 
David's tomb. They've even wrote um, they've wrote uh, the manuscripts and stuff. They really have, and it's uh, supposed to be in the um, constellation of Cygnus, and it would be uh, like a Northern Cross star pattern, you all. So maybe that will show up. It may and it may not, but you all, I'll tell you what, I'm um. I'm getting tired now, so uh, yeah, that's all right. You, uh, yeah. Jupiter and Saturn are aligned. I should have been watching this chat rate because they keep it down on every single video. You, uh, they do. They drop the chat rate um, so much, and um, it dropped to 14. It was like 22, and it when I looked at it, now it's down to uh, 14 again. Yeah. The Kachina, the red Kachina. That's right, you all. Um, I am going to go. And um, thank you all for coming on here tonight. This volcano is pretty cool. The eruption and the mirrored images. There is something to the mirrored images. You all could probably look that up yourself. And see the um, significance to it the significance to the mirrored images. Let me see this um, spiritual significance. Um, mirrored uh, images. Is there one? Okay, um, I think there might be something. Let's see this. You are, I did, it just like popped in my mind. Mysteric, no, I'm not going to read that. Ooh. Spirit portals. No, we don't want to get into this, you all. We don't want to look at no spirit portals or nothing like that, you all. That's okay because they didn't show you all that anymore. I am hopping off here because I get myself caught on a wild goose chase. Uh, so I'm going to go. And um, with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love. You have a wonderful rest of your evening, you all. And, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sky Watcher Dennis, you are behind. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome, Susan B., honey. Apple Brooks, you all. Have a wonderful uh, evening. And, um, hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow. Love you.